So today is Monday, which is probably when you guys will be seeing this. I'm not exactly sure. I was gonna take today off just because I need a little bit break. Uh, I have a lot of unlisted inventory. I'm trying to get my website up and running, and the only way it's gonna get up and running is if I have stuff listed. Currently, it is live, but I only have maybe 10 items listed, so I'm trying to have all my inventory listed, which is 200 plus items. So it's gonna take me probably at least a full two to three days to try to get every single thing listed. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to do that a lot for today. Today is MLK day. Uh, I'm rocking vintage MLK shirts. I should probably put on my seatbelt so it stops beeping. And uh, I don't know if thrift stores are open, but I figured, you know what, let me just hit up a couple by my house. If we find something good, if we don't, it is what it is. Um, then I'm just gonna come back home and start listing. I do need to still continue uh, apartment shopping as well, looking in Miami. Uh, like I said, I did find another one, but I just don't know if I wanna live there. So I'm kinda contemplating a few things. Um, and yeah, kinda just going with the flow. I was gonna do a story time today, but I figured, you know what, I'll save a, tori a story time for another day. Yesterday I did post a video of the confrontation of uh, at the thrift store, and you guys are killing it. It's at like 2,000 views within, I don't know, 10 hours or so, so. I appreciate everyone uh, supporting that video. If only you guys, go fucker! People don't know how to fucking drive, it's so annoying. Um, so yeah, let's set up this first thrift store. Like I said, I don't know if thrift stores are open. Uh, since today is MLK Day, a lot of places are closed. Uh, I know the banks and stuff are closed today, so uh, let's see if the thrift stores are open. If they're not, then I don't know. Maybe I'll just save this video for tomorrow or the next day when I actually hit up thrift stores. Like I said, I was gonna take today off, so if I do upload this on Monday, which is when you guys are seeing this, then it's kinda just an extra content, extra video, uh, just me uploading, because a ton of you guys have said you rather see a video than not see a video at all, and I also wanna keep the consistency up by posting every single day in 2021. So, let's hit the first thrift store, guys. Let's get it. So I saw someone with a full cart of shoes, so I'm probably not gonna find any, considering they probably took any good ones that there are. Look at these Nike hiking shoes. ACG. Uh, kinda dirty, I think they're $5 here. Uh, size 12, my size, damn, low key. Maybe I can use these for Colorado. Oh no, look at that separation. Complete separated. I'll need a complete glue job, look. If it wasn't separating, I would definitely take those though. Look at these DBS skate shoes. Back in the day, bubbles popped. The sole is completely gone. You can see it's separating right here. Unwearable, sadly, because these are pretty sick. They almost remind me of the Osiris D3s. But again, the whole midsole is just completely ruined. And then what else do we have? We have some boots. Let's check the other side. Oh, this is all women's. If you look over there, that guy has the full cart of shoes. Well, the only things I found, I don't even know what this tag is because it got ripped off, but it looks pretty unique. Then on the back it does have the MGM Graham. And then I found like this, uh, all things are a dollar, so I'm gonna get this for the personal. Well, clothing wasn't all a dollar, only t-shirts, so I ended up getting this. Again, I don't even know what tag was on it. Um, there was obviously two tags, one here and one there, but I just felt like, you know what it reminds me of? Almost like a hookups design too, but I don't know. Look at the line for Polo Tropical. It goes wrap around, and all you have to do is just walk inside and uh, order it to go. I came here yesterday and I was like, it was so good. So I figured, you know what, let's come here again and get it for lunch. Just like that, five minutes or so out. Thank you. Still a huge line. Since we're still dealing with this stupid pandemic, I can't even eat inside. And I was gonna eat inside my car, but honestly, I just got a car wash the other day and I used this new air freshener and it makes the car smell wonderful and I'm not trying to have the car smell like Polo Tropical. So I'm gonna head home real quick. Uh, I'm gonna eat lunch and then we will go back out, hit one more thrift store in the area, hopefully get something good. And then like I said, I just need to kind of go back home and list. Uh, today's gonna be kind of a shitty vlog. I don't know if I'm gonna upload it today being Monday or if I'll just tie it into tomorrow's footage. So let's go home, let's see how Captain's doing and let's eat some food because I am starving. My stomach hurts so bad, I'm so hungry.
Are we just gonna play Mexican standoff? <laughs> Are you gonna come, little guy? <laughs> I got boiled drop of gal again. I got some food. How are you? <laughs> oh, you got you got a sniffles? That's my little guy. Uh, let's go inside. Come on, I gotta go eat. So for today's lunch, I did get a half a chicken, white rice, black beans, some fries, and then to dip for the fries, cilantro garlic, which is the best sauce I feel like they have there. I don't eat the bun, even though it's super soft today. The following day. Well, it is the morning after. Uh, it is Tuesday morning, which is gonna be Tuesday. By the time you guys are watching this, I'm looking like a hot mess. It is early in the morning. We are bright and up. See, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. It is early in the morning. We are bright and up. We are bright and up early. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is we're up. I'm going to the thrift store. It's early, plain and simple. Uh, yesterday, after I finished eating, I basically just listed the whole entire day, uh, or the whole entire night, I should say. Uh, so that way, the website right now is launched, so make sure you guys go check it out. Again, link down below, emcvlogs.com. Uh, price of stuff at, start at $8 and work its way up. Um, but it's definitely under market price, or at least I try to mark it under price. Like I have an off-white hoodie, I think I put it for like 300, 350 on StockX for about 550. So I try to do the best I can. But uh, yeah, we're hitting up a thrift store today. Hopefully find some good stuff. Hopefully, you know, we can make a nice little video. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna tell you guys something. Yesterday I did not post, which a lot of you guys were disappointed, but again, I just didn't have a video. I didn't wanna upload BS. Uh, I've been uploading every single day for 2021 and I'm gonna continue uploading every single day, but I might take off a one day of the week and you know, that's just because I need a little rest. So uh, let's hit up the first thrift store. Let's see if we find anything good. Let's get it guys. Well, new stuff for today. I don't know what I'm gonna end up grabbing or leaving, but we have this Manchester United little windbreaker. I thought this was kind of cool. It's $3.49. It's like super soft. It almost reminds me of like Gucci. Just because of like the print, the line. Found like this vest. I don't know what brand it is. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of small too. Polo Ralph Lauren, Polo Red. Brand new with tags, 2007, national champion. I thought this was pretty cool. Traps ruffler in, but the colors on it's really nice, like a flannel. Earth tones. And then I did find this like biker long sleeve. Some Kappa shorts. So they just brought a woman's rack. Look at this fur coat. It's fake fur, but it's insane. It's made in the USA. Made by Donny Brook, which is an expensive brand. It's so soft too. It's 20 bucks, so I may get it. And then I found some other stuff too underneath here. Like women's Michael Kors jackets. I'll show you guys these. Let's see, this is a men's jacket, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna get this though. Maker, I have to look it up. 20 bucks, so, so expensive. I just liked it because it had a bunch of pockets on it. Pretty unique. Almost reminds me of like Marlboro. Then in here we found a Lauren Ralph Lauren coat, $20. So I'm probably gonna end up leaving this. But I'm gonna look up everything. Make sure nothing's not like a $200 jacket. And then these Michael Kors leather jackets. This one, and then there's a matching one right here. Normally while I'm sitting here, I see like this shirt and it has a bunch of back print. I'm like, man, what is that? And I start reading it. And then at the bottom, JFK. And on the front, I think this is an air traffic control shirt. It's kind of cool though. Made in the USA. I just love that back print with the big thing on it. I guess we'll put that to the collection pile. Wow, now this is the find of today. Look at this Bally leather coat. I gotta look up the material, but oh my gosh, this is so nice. 
Let's see if we can find the inside tag. Okay, this is real leather. Does it say what kind of leather? No, it doesn't. I bet this was like a thousand dollars brand new. This is insane fine. Ugh, just my luck, the zipper's broken. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it. Um, but it might even be worth just buying it and getting the zipper fixed just because it's a really expensive jacket. So I was looking at this and I was like, what the hell is this thing? Like a huge big thing. And if you look, it has like an inflatable thing and it has a pump on the inside. And I'm like, what is this thing? Is it a mattress? But then it clicked to me, these ribs, this is an inflatable paddle board. Now I don't know the size of this, but brand new, these range from about 500 all the way up to thousands of dollars. I'm going to see how much they want for it. I'm not going to really explain what it is. The zipper on the bag is broken, so I'm going to kind of use that to my advantage. But let's see if we can get this for like 10 bucks. And then we have to blow it up and everything, but yo, this could be the find of today. I could sell this for a few hundred dollars easily if, it, if it's in working condition. Wow, look at this leather jacket, like biker jacket just came across. I've never heard of it. It's called Brand Charge. I looked it up. I could not find anything on it. $20, but look at how like a clasp and everything. The buckles on the inside is genuine leather. Has a pocket, has a zipper pocket right here, little patch. This thing is insane. So sick. Little back clasp too. I'm definitely going to pick this up. Easily $100 bill. And then I found this for myself. Look how comfy this is. Just a yellow hoodie. You guys know yellow is my favorite color. Look at this. This is so sick. So we got a full card today, guys. <laughs> and I'm just keep looking. I keep seeing like more leather. London Fog. What's this one? I don't know this brand. Hollister. The expensive section. Let's see. We got some jerseys. What jerseys do we have sitting here? couple basketball jerseys it seems like we have a Florida Gators brand new with tags Nike uh, $24 doesn't show what retail would be number 13 we do have an Allen Iverson jersey man I haven't seen Al Iverson jersey in a while Reebok how much do they want $25 Iverson hardwood classic Sixers $25 Nothing on the back. Then we have a Bullets. $25 also. And let's see what's on the back. Weber. Nike Royals. I'll have to look some of these up and see if they're worth anything. $25. Then Miami Dolphins, $25. Marshall. Wake. And Suh. Well, the only one that actually seemed like it was worth it was this uh, Weber one. Well, $110 later, we got the inflatable paddle board and we got a trash bag filled with stuff. Well, I had no intentions of spending $110 today at the thrift store, but honestly, we, we're going to do so well. Like, I feel like that one biker jacket by itself, I could sell for $100. Uh, that paddle board, I'm going to have to take home. I'm going to have to try to inflating it. Hopefully, there's no rips, no nothing. Um, basically I asked the, the employees like, yo, how much is this? And they're like, oh, what's inside? I was like, I don't know. I think it's like a mattress or something. And I didn't really want them to look too much into it. Cause if they found out it was a paddle board and worth hundreds of dollars, obviously they were going to give it to me. Not ex like really expensive. They only gave me, they only charged me $20. Um, I'll take that $20 gamble. It is what it is. Uh, I go to the casino and I put $20 in the machine. And I lose it in a second. So I'll spend the $20 on a supposed inflatable, um, paddle board to hope that there's no holes and hope that it actually does well if it does I'll probably sell super uh, good just living in South Florida obviously it is kind of cold right now but everyone always wants a paddle board so I feel like that's an easy sale so I spent 110 but we'll make our money back easily uh, like I said that one leather jacket I'll sell for for 110 by itself but uh, yeah let's go head back home and make some lunch because I'm already getting hungry well, I just got back home and we're going to take this out and try to pump it up and see if, uh, if it has any damage to it. I'm going to list it on offer up Craigslist so that way uh, I can do it. But uh, And I just realized there's no paddle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the thrift store tomorrow and see if I can find the paddle for it. But uh, yeah, let's see how this thing is. 
Well, I just realized it has the pump and everything, but it doesn't have the fin for the back, which I mean, I'm sure that's pretty easy to get. So it needs the fin and then the paddle. So it's gonna take the price value down a little bit more, but honestly, for 20 bucks, it's, it's a steal. So let's, uh, let's try to blow this up. Well, for 20 bucks, we got ourselves a paddle board. I didn't fill it up all the way because it's like, it takes a while. I'm out of breath, guys. Like, but standing on it, so sick. It's a 10 footer. Uh, brand new. This is about $600. We paid 20 bucks. I'll probably list it for 350 Maybe take 300 Bottom looks pretty good. It just doesn't have a fin and it doesn't have a paddle. But $20 into $300 all day. All day. Such a nice come up.